What's up, everybody? I'm Walt Bruninger. You are watching Awesomeology. Today on the show, we've got more beer pong tricks, splashometer, idea paint, copycats, and browser ball. Set your phasers to awesome. Awesomeology starts now. Oh! So I love beer pong trick shot videos, and a new one hit the internet last week, and a ton of people sent it in, so thank you all. This is it. But if I'm being honest, it is not as good as my all-time favorite beer pong trick shot video. It's like two years old. This one. The Rocky music they use in the background might have something to do with it. I don't know. But you know what? One of these days, I'm going to make my own beer pong trick shot video. It's going to be like 10 minutes long, 400 shots, one take. It's just how I roll. Everyone who has a pool has at one time had a little cannonball contest to see who can make the biggest splash. Well, now there's a scientific way to measure it thanks to the splash o meter a vinyl inflatable meter that takes the guesswork out of judging such a contest. Also, it doesn't look phallic at all. I love whiteboards. I've got a whiteboard right there. Best invention ever. Only problem with whiteboards is that they never seem to be big enough. Well, how would you like to turn an entire wall in your house into a full whiteboard? You can, thanks to Idea Paint. All you do is make sure you start with a smooth surface, apply the Idea Paint, give it a full seven days to cure, and bam, full on whiteboard on a wall of your office. How great is that? That is boss. Yeah, I just said boss. I'm bringing boss back, among other things. Who doesn't like a good cover song? Check out Copycats. Each day they feature a few different cover versions of popular songs. The songs are embedded right in the site, so just visit and click play. Wish I had more to say about it. There's not much else to it, but it has become a daily must-visit for me. Great site. Want to see something amazing and waste a little bit of time in the process? Check out Browser Ball. As the site itself says, possibly more cool than you think it will be. And I've got to say, they're right. You click to open a window, and there's a little ball in there. Use your mouse to throw it around, and it bounces off the sides of the wall. Okay, no problem there. But you can open another window, put that window next to it, and then throw the ball around and it goes seamlessly between the two windows using their outside borders as if it's just one border. And you can open as many as you want and the ball seamlessly goes through all of them. It's crazy. See, I, I know I'm like far from a programmer, but this seems to me like something that shouldn't even be possible. It, check it out. But only if you've got a little bit of time to kill, because trust me, you will. So it seems like all I've been hearing lately is how the quality of the water out of your sink is just as good as water that you would buy from a store, bottled water. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I still only drink bottled water. What about you? That's today's poll question. I'm curious. Do you drink tap water? Like, if you were going to get a glass of water right now, would you go to the sink or would you go to your fridge? Awesomeology.com slash 68. That's where you will find the poll underneath the video. Let me know what you think. If you're enjoying the show, become an insider at awesomeology.com slash insiders. I'll be back Wednesday with episode 69 on twitter.com slash waltpsu. And this was awesome. Oh!